Blue is kicking off the new year with a bang. Last week, the company released the budget-friendly Life Max, and this week, the company is launching the Vivo XL2. For those looking to spend a little more than the Life Max for more power and higher-end specifications, you'll want to look into the Vivo XL2. For $150 off contract, it features a 5.5-inch 720p display with Cordian Gorilla Glass 3, it has a powerful quad-core processor with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, 4G LTE up to 150 megabits per second, 13 megapixel rear facing camera sensor with face detection autofocus, an 8 megapixel selfie camera, and 3150 milliamp hour battery with quick charging support. Also, if you are watching this on January 25th, you can get the phone for $50 off on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description for you to take advantage of that deal. Now, we can get our first glimpse at the hardware by sliding off the top of the box. I'm gonna put the phone off to the side for a moment to take a look at some of the accessories in the box. So we have a USB to micro USB adapter here. There is a micro USB charging cable as well as a US wall wart. There are earphones with removable tips and music playback control buttons. We have a SIM card removal tool, a dual SIM card installation guide, and a get started guide. There's a plastic silicone case and a screen protector here as well. None of these accessories should really come as a surprise if you've ever owned a blue smartphone. If we remove the Vivo XL2 from the plastic bag and peel off the plastic films around the device, we'll find a very attractive and very flashy smartphone. Blue says that the XL2's design utilizes state-of-the-art tooling technology that engraves a micro pattern onto the battery cover, followed by electrolyzed paint particles to achieve a metallic sunburst effect that you can see here. It's all plastic, so it's not gonna have that cool to the touch feel, and it's probably gonna pick up a lot of micro scratches in everyday usage if it's not in a protective case, but it does look pretty darn attractive, not gonna lie. It does feel a little slimy in the hands, but it doesn't feel too terribly slippery, though it's really gonna depend on how bone dry your hands are. The drier they are, the more slippery the phone will be. Now, the 5.5-inch 720p display is solid, but it's far from superb. Viewing angles are pretty average for a display in this price category. It's a budget LCD panel, so colors aren't very vibrant, and the contrast ratio isn't terribly high. It does get pretty bright, though, so it should have no problem in direct sunlight, or at the very least, it will perform better than AMOLED displays in direct sunlight. All in all, it's completely usable, but just don't expect it to really wow you. The phone does run Android 6.0 Marshmallow, like I mentioned earlier, but with a fairly thick skin running on top of it. All of Blue's Vivo devices actually have a thick skin on top of Android with some funky customizations. Um, first of all, there's no app drawer, so all of your apps will be placed on the home screens. The notification drawer features no quick settings. Instead, all the quick settings are found in their own panel, which can be viewed when swiping up from the bottom of the display. From there, you can change the brightness and access the settings, which is also skinned and it features its own icons and arrangement. I don't like the skin, but you can improve it by installing third-party applications and a third-party launcher of your choice, uh, such as the Google Now launcher. I will say performance is noticeably better than the Life Max. It features a quad-core MediaTek processor with three gigabytes of RAM. The additional RAM really helps improve the experience navigating this phone there's significantly less lag and stuttering than on the Life Max. I ran Geekbench 4, and the Vivo XL2 received a single core score of about 500 and a multi-core score of right around 1800. There is a 13 megapixel camera sensor on the rear and an 8 megapixel quote unquote selfie camera up front. The image quality is what you can expect for a $150 smartphone. I mean, in well-lit scenarios, you can take pretty decent images but in low light scenarios, the camera performance is going to suffer and your photos will become quite noisy. Now, I will say that when compared to other budget smartphones and their camera sensors, the XL2's camera features an f2.0 aperture, which actually will do a pretty good job in low light. As for the selfie camera, I do enjoy the 85 degree wide angle. The wide angle makes video calls just much more enjoyable as you don't have to hold the phone at arm's length to get your head in the frame. The speaker quality is pretty god awful. It's on the bottom rear of the device, so it will get covered up when holding the device. The sound is also very tinny and hollow. There's really no depth or substance in the sound. 
One area that the Life Max really excels in is battery life as it features a 3650 milliamp hour battery. For comparison, this smartphone features a 3150 milliamp hour battery. It should be large enough to last a full day on a single charge, but it's not going to offer that reassurance that the Life Max's battery offers. The saving grace though, or the cherry on top, is the quick charging support that will charge your phone from empty to 100% in two and a half hours. Blue calls that quick charging, but it's really not that fast when compared to flagship smartphones and their fast charging support. Overall, the Vivo XL2 can make for a great daily driver smartphone, but it's going to depend on the type of user you are. If you are looking to save some money and you are a moderate to heavy user, I'd recommend this device to you over the Life Max as it features additional RAM to help improve your experience using the phone on a daily basis. However, if you are looking to save some money, you aren't totally glued to your smartphone like I am, I'd recommend the Life Max as it's even cheaper than the XL2 and features a bigger battery. So when you do need to make a phone call or update your Facebook status, you'll have a higher chance of there being power left in your device. The extra battery life in that case would make up for the slightly worse performance. And if you are watching this video on January 25th, for one day only, you can get the XL2 for $50 off on Amazon. Blue is doing a launch day sale, bringing the price down to $100 off contract. So if you're at all interested in this device, you should not hesitate to pick this phone up while the sale lasts. I will leave a link to both devices down below in the description. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm BoHD. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. See ya.